Hi guys, so I recently ordered the Glimmer hot foil machine or system from Spellbinder. So it just arrived, so I'm gonna open it up and I'll have it excuse me. So yeah, I'll have it linked in the description box and those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items to those links. So um you guys know I already have the uh, Crafters Companion hot foil machine, or if you're new here, maybe you don't know, but I do have that, and I've been using that with my glimmer uh and foil plates and the um the foils themselves and you kind of have to play with it a little bit as far as the temperature and the timing and all those kinds of things you always want to use very smooth paper when you're um, doing your hot foiling and um, I know you can hot foil a ribbon and stuff like that so obviously that's not smooth paper but I would say like use like satin ribbon or something uh, the smoothest surface you can you know foil on but I do have the uh, Spellbinders Platinum Aqua 6 machine and this goes through that and I rather use that because um, my Gemini is really loud <laughs> and also sometimes it's really hit and miss so I want to see if maybe staying sorry so yes I want to see if using the same product line will be more consistent results right so let me bring this out and oh right on top oh how cute I have never actually seen one of their catalogs in real life like I see it on um, just little snippets here and there and stuff like that but I love it so this is their spring 2022 catalog and we've played with a lot of these items maybe these look familiar to you guys they are having their um, sale right now their spring warehouse cleaning and tons of things are dollar two dollars four dollars and I think it ends on the 30th April 30th so I'll have that information in the description box I'll have a link right to the uh, sale area um, but look, oh, I love, this is one of the funnest things, the Daisy Delight Garden Shutters and the uh, Butterfly Bliss one. How pretty, I love having this, just to have some inspo right there, you know, little idea. And I do have a lot of these items. But let's go ahead and get this out. Package very pretty, look at that. Simply stunning, it says there. I love that they put the hot foiling on the box. Uh, just a note to say hello and then it has some pretty background hot foiling so again this is their glimmer system and this one is the 2.0 I guess they do have uh, the original and then this one but I believe this one is the difference is that it comes with some different items so let's just open it up beautiful box love the way it's packaged already just straight off I mean even on the sides it has some info there and on the front here it has uh, some other info with some other cute little um, images there on the side it says simply stunning with the foil rolls <laughs> I'm just kind of going around and I'm on the bottom and on this other side it has more info so I'm just gonna bring this to the side and pull this all out so all I did was just grab the whole thing like this and yeah there's nothing left in the box it looks like maybe it's upside down okay so yeah we have a couple things over here that's one of the things it comes with it comes with a little grabber if you don't have this um how did i get so close <laughs> with the zoom sorry guys i could have zoomed out uh, a while back i guess um it does have a uh, the magnet pickup tool so you can pick up your plates with this guy i don't believe that comes in the first iteration but you can also pick it up separately on its own and i'm so sorry i wish i didn't i didn't realize i was zoomed in that is so weird. I can still zoom out even a little bit more. Okay, this is the plate itself. It has a really nice weight. It feels really nice and sturdy. I like that it's just a little bit smaller. Not so gangly as you're holding it. Oh, look, it comes with foil. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure what all it came with. So let's see. We have our plug, of course. And we'll definitely plug that in. And I'm just going to try one out just today just to break it in and see, you know, what we got going on. I'm not looking to make a whole project, but we do have some gold foil and then that beautiful rainbow foil. What fun foil to start off with. That's really cool. I like that they include those colors. Um, these are some plates and this is the base, of course. Let's open this guy up. This looks really nice and sturdy and really sleek and clean. Look at that with like kind of the, I want to say kind of bronzy gold <laughs> rose gold you know me I like to say it's a few different colors at a time I'm going ahead and just pop this in here right now that just goes in there very interesting I want to see as far as does it click yeah so as you push it in you're gonna push it all the way back but it's not you know quite set up yet let's see what we have here oh awesome okay so there's the instructions and here we have our little plate top plate oh cool I was hoping I, I wasn't sure that it came with uh, plates but you know on the front it had that design and I wasn't sure if it came with that design or what was going on there so cool okay good so we have that we'll play with that today then 
Uh, I was going to pull out some of my glimmer plates. Um, I know quite a few are on sale in that warehouse sale, so maybe I'll follow up with something like that. The thin shim, and then this little mat that you can put your little hot plates. So when this comes out and it's hot, you can pop it on there. Again, pick it up with this, pop it on there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And then this one's um, a spacer pad, it says. So we will definitely learn about why we need to use these. But for today, I want to do a basic run through. So let's open that up. Whenever you get a machine with them, they always have this offer here of saving $5. If you register your machine, they'll give you like a coupon for $5 off. And so yeah, we have all our different things. Thin shim, acrylic paper pad, um, shim. And again, plug in, push power switch on, place, you know, okay. When heated to optimal temperature, the platform ready light will, indicator light, sorry, excuse me, light, will light up green. Uh, place the glare play on the platform. Uh, press timer button. The timer light indicator will initially blink green. You're ready to foil when the timer light indicator turns solid green. So then when that happens, you put your foil um, with the shiny pretty side facing down. Now that depends. If you want to do the hinge method, you're going to do it opposite, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, add design material and the necessary shims and see the, char the chart here and then run it through and there you go. Um, and that's how you use it with glimmer plates. Now, how to use it with select etched wafer thin dies. Now, you can do that. You can glimmer a die, and what happens is that little thin, thin line that usually cuts is going to uh, foil instead. And um, so they're just showing you here to do what you got to do. Um, the material, necessary shims, again, over here. And it does say you can uh, use cardstock, watercolor paper, chipboard, fabric, ribbon, and leather, how we discussed earlier. So we will run through probably one of the more basic ways of just using it, right, with your uh, plates. And then we'll go to there. And then how to letter press, which of course we can do with any die. You can just ink it up. What's nice about the glimmer dies or plates, should I say, is because they have thicker areas, right? So if you were to ink it up, you can run it through and it just gives that pressure that kind of letter presses in there. But of course you want to be careful with your ink application and all that. So what I'm going to do is grab a very smooth piece of paper. So I'm just going to do a very initial run and see, you know, how we are on timing. It sounds like this ti does its own timer because it just says there when it's ready, it'll let you know it's ready. And um, so that's different than the other system I've been using. So I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to plug this guy in and I will be back. Okay, guys, so all I did was plug it in and it turned on already. So that means this switch was already switched to on, but obviously you can turn it off and turn it on. But when I plugged it in... Again, that switch was already flipped for me. So it's on, and I'm just gonna let it heat up. It has that little rubbery grip surface. Of course, once it starts getting hotter and hotter, you can, it doesn't get so hot, in my opinion, that you can't like touch it, but it does say caution hot there. And always be careful around hot plates. Um, I wanna see down here, that looked like a little, okay. Oh, pretty cool. So underneath you can store the uh, cord, which is awesome. That's a really nice feature there. It has a rubber grip feet. It has a nice kind of grip on the side too if you need to pick it up. And so again, plug in, push power switch on. The power will, light will light up red. When heated, to Use me. when heated to optimal temperature, the platform ready light indicator will light up green. So of course we're just gonna wait for that to do that. I'm a really bad judge of time and care, like, I would say bad judge of character with time. So if I say, oh, that's, that was about two minutes, it might have been more or less. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to wait. I'll let you know roughly my guesstimate of how long that might be. And then you're going to place your die. And we'll talk about that. I'm going to do it a little bit different. And hopefully that will still be okay. Um, because if you're going to do the hinge method, you're going to place the die on your paper and everything, get it ready. Actually, I'll do that right now. And then if that doesn't work out for us, then we'll do it a different way. But um, I'm going to take this here, and we're going to use this plate. And I'm just going to run it through at the bottom of a piece of paper that I have cut down, just smaller than A2 size. Okay, sorry, that beep that you heard was from my rice cooker, not <laughs> this. So I cut down a piece of paper a little bit smaller, and I do apologize. The reason it kept getting smaller and smaller is my camera is doing this weird autofocus thing, and it does this every once in a while, and I am so sorry. Um, that's why I kept getting closer and closer, and it's going to keep doing that until, like, tomorrow. For some reason, it glitches out that way, and I, I don't know. Sorry, guys, so hopefully I'll be able to resolve that by tomorrow. A lot of times it just stops doing it and everything's fine. So I want to make sure that my glimmer plate is here. So 
what I'm going to do is take this, I'm going to cut a piece just about this size, okay, so I'm just going to open this up and take this little piece of sticky off and then cut it about the size of this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so um, I just trimmed this down and basically I'm going to get rid of this little piece just to show you I'm using all the foil that came on that roll basically, so I'm going to get rid of this just because there's that little sticker on there. So what I want to do is, of course, we want to push our color into the paper, right? So I'm going to do this hinged because I want to see where I'm putting this. And I'm so sorry that auto... Sorry, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is take this and just put a little tape. Actually, where do I want to hinge this? Maybe over here on the side. And what I'm going to do is take my foil and then place it under. And when you do it this way, you want to push the color into the paper. So the pretty paper, the pretty color should be facing you. And in the other images that was showing you, it was facing the other direction. <laughs> because you want it facing up at you. If you're going to put the plate here first, you want your the ugly side, so-called, facing up at you when you put the foil down. Oh, and it's ready. So let's see. Hopefully that's still where I wanted it. I can see I'm missing a little piece in the corner down here. Let me readjust this a little better. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm going to place this on here. And I'm placing it all together. This plate definitely needs to touch the surface, okay? So we're going to place this on here. And I'm sorry, going to go ahead and press the timer button. And it's flashing, flashing, flashing. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you guys, sometimes things just don't work out for me. I don't know why it wants to do that, but maybe I should just hold it back. There we go, since I'm just sitting here anyway. Um, so what we're going to do here is, again, just wait. It says it's going to blink green, and then you're ready to foil when the timer light indicator turns solid green. So I would say it took about five minutes to heat up, and so now we're waiting for this. And when it's ready, uh, after it heats up originally, you're supposed to then go ahead and put your foil, but we're doing it a little bit different since we're doing the hinge method. You have to lay it down first. So I'm just leaving it just the way it is. And it does say with cardstock, you're going to use the um, Glimmer Thin Shim and the Glimmer Space Pad. So, sometimes it says you might need to use a cutting plate. And that's if you're using it with leather, but we don't from the original, like the machine, you know. But we will do that, and that means we'll put down the Thin Shim and we'll put down the Spacer Pad. And, oh, it says it's ready. So, that's when we put the uh, foil on and add a design material and necessary shims and go ahead and remove it. So let me open up my machine, machine here, her space to show you guys, but I'm going to place this on here and both of them because it says you need both of them. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to run it through my machine, okay? And I'll be right back only because of my, sh you know, my uh, camera freaking out, but <laughs> I'm just going to run it through. Ooh, you hear that? That is very interesting. It sounds like a sizzle. <laughs> Actually, I'll go ahead and sit here with you guys, and we'll see, you know, how we did, and maybe I have to make some adjustments. Oh, it's already coming off. Oh, my goodness. I can see that it probably needs a little bit more. But for a first run, wow, that is really good. Oh, my goodness. Let's try one more. I'll be right oh, back. I guess this is where I should show you how this works, but you know, I already have one, but that's okay. I'll open this up. And you can just grab your plate, and maybe it'll help me grab it from here. You can just grab your plate, take it to your little mat, and let it go. And then you don't have to touch it. Okay, okay so, so I'm, I'm just right. going to bring this and pop it back on here. And again, we're going to wait for the platform to be ready, right? So we're just going to let it heat up. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is just take the other um, bit that came with this. And I just have a piece of paper, the same paper I used before. It's just a heavyweight paper, I think, from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to... Just place it on here. I can do the hinge method also, just so I know that it's centered, but um, I think we'll do that. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to place it here, but I'll be right back. I'm just going to cut a piece of foil and hinge it. And okay, that did not take very long for it to become ready again, probably 30 seconds or so. So I'm going to take this piece of paper. I'm going to, like I said, I was going to hinge this on here. So it says, um, just a note to say hello. And again, we're going to face it down, the pretty side. I'm going to pop this on here. And where I think I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of washi there to not um, move. And I'll be right back. Okay, so it's all ready here. I'm going to bring this guy back. And I'm going to pop this over on here. And press timer. And when the timer stops blinking, it means we're ready to go. Again, a little different. If you're just going to pop your... Um, 
sorry yeah so if you're just going to pop your plate on here you put the plate with obviously the lines facing up you would let that heat up once it says it's ready you would then put your foil put your paper and then go ahead and run it through so it's very different from the system i was using before and i i, I want to go to that way but um that's not how this one works but it does work in that way in a way because if you're doing the hinge method you have to you know put it all together and go ahead and leave the foil there and everything and then wait for this guy to turn solid and then uh, just run it through really interesting i really like that that the machine's like i'll let you know <laughs> all right i'll be back of course when i said i'll be back that's when the timer uh light went solid so we'll place that we'll place this and i'm gonna pull this out i'm gonna run it through just to not have to have our camera freaking out on us and i'll be right back okay let's see how we did again i'll just hold this back i'm holding the uh actual zoom button so it doesn't do what it ever feels like oh my goodness you guys this is the best result i have gotten <laughs> I cannot believe why I was messing around with the other one. I, you know, I wanted to make it work, but honestly, it was a lot of guesswork, a lot of back and forth, and maybe doing it a few times, a couple times to get it right. I mean, look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm not going to go back to the other. I'm just not. <laughs> so, um, yes, keep an eye out. I'll be doing much more with this. Of course, every month we have the glimmer plates and then other ones that I pick up and things I get for review. So I will definitely use this. I might try some of the Crafts Companion ones on here because I do have some of those. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to keep them separate and just, I mean, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, and where's our other little buddy? Well, I have some pictures for you guys coming up right now. So as far as first impressions, uh, I am right out the gate not having to say 30 seconds, 15 seconds myself, and maybe I'm wrong, and maybe it was too much, and maybe the machine told me, and I don't know why I waited so long, but I am super happy with this. Oh my gosh, so happy I picked it up. I'll have it linked in the description box again right now. Um, you know, it's what it is, but they do have their warehouse sale going on so i'll have all that info and links in the description box and thanks for watching guys have a great rest of your weekend oh, sorry guys yeah and of course from here you just you know i'm gonna keep foiling i i'm so happy with this i'll just turn it off back here turn it off and there's my dinner and put it away all right guys again thanks for watching i'll see you at the next one bye now